Hello everybody, I want to show you a quick unwrapping, unboxing of a Stellarview 80 ED Raptor scope I just received and a few accessories, a, a Celestron eyepieces of Barlow and a few other things. I purchased them from OPT Corp, uh, Oceanside Photo and Telescope in California. Had a very pleasant on-phone experience and uh, it arrived here on the East Coast in about one week. So um, here we go. Wrapped very well. Thick, thick packing tape, more than usual. The invoice packing slip. Lots of peanuts. There is the uh, Vixen style dovetail shoe. Side. TP14, this is the dovetail plate that will go on the bottom of the scope. Here's a couple of the uh, Celestron XL LX eyepieces. Um, this is the uh, 25 millimeter is the box. This is the um, 18 millimeter. Looks the same in the box anyway. The Barlow 2X Celestron Barlow. And the seven millimeter. Here I have a um, <clears throat> the D ten thirty two deluxe one and a quarter forty five degree erecting prism. This is a stellar view erecting prism for terrestrial viewing. I can open this up. Package in a nice fitted foam box. Wrapped in plastic. Pretty nice. Put that back in the box for now. Here's the two inch diagonal, uh, the 1029ED Stellar View diagonal. It's sealed up pretty good. I will not open that yet. Notice uh, one thing you may want to see the box inspected by Vic. Very nice. I've heard he inspects all of his things, but now there's a lot of bubble wrap here, and in the bubble wrap, another large box. Handle with care, delicate instrument, it says. It's nicely, nicely done. Bag with a couple Allen wrenches in the manual. More bubble wrap. I want you to see the box, how it was packaged here. 
see that. Now, for the beauty itself. Very well boxed, wrapped, and of course taped. Wow. We've opened a lot of things, but, <coughs> excuse me, I'm actually smitten by this one. This is incredible, incredibly beautiful, machined very, very well. If you can see. That slides with great precision. I don't know if you can hear that. Twist it, you can see the stellar view. Cap is metal with a friction fit. Very, very nice. I am impressed. Let me get a little closer. The focuser actually feels, I never used one of these, I'm brand new, but the focuser feels like there's a flywheel on it. There's that weighty feel, quite smooth. I'm very glad I went with uh, this company. I heard that the attention to detail, fit and finish is superb and um, I'm now an eyewitness of it. The uh, carbon fiber is beautiful. It appears to be flawless, the finish. I don't see any um, issues with any part of it. Very nice high gloss focuser finish. I want to give you a size comparison. With my Fujinon binoculars. This is what I've been using for about the last year, my entrance into astronomy. These are 16 by 70 FMT FX Fujinons absolutely beautiful and I just put them on uh, MG2 stellar view mount I purchased uh, one of the last two Vic was selling and they discontinued that model on top of a, um, a wooden surveyors tripod and I made a mount for the binoculars and I've been using that for the last couple of weeks but now this really looking forward to trying this out and the weather looks good tonight so I may I may be good to go with that. I'm going to take a pause and then show you uh, one of the eyepieces. Okay, I've unboxed a couple of more items. The Celestron eyepiece, this is the 25. I got a 25, 18, and 7, and a 2X Barlow. Um, very nice.
sticking a bit on the rubber. Nice. Looking forward to trying that out. I also unbox the um, the two inch diagonal. This is impressive. Again, that high level of machining quality. knobs are very nice. If you can see the brass ring in there. Of course I believe this is the one and a quarter insert. From fit there. There we go. So I will bring more um, again. More with uh, when I get this mounted on my mount, I'll show that and um, take a peek through and see how it's all going to look. Thanks for watching.